Alright guys, today I'm going to show you something that I just learned and it's maybe because I'm a noob, I don't know what the deal is here with this, uh, but uh, first time I did it, I didn't think it was going to function for me how I did it, but it did. So, if you guys don't know, the Nexus 7, actually all of the Nexus devices have got the 4.3 update and they just released some recently. So I'm going to show you guys over here on my uh, original Nexus 7 under about tablet. I just went ahead and I did the update to JWR66Y. That is the newest version. Now I was running stock on this. I do have Torp recovery or Team Win recovery installed, and I do have root access on this device. And I went ahead and did the update. And I'm thinking, well, this maybe this is just me, but I thought I had to have stock recovery to flash an OTA update. But apparently. Corp Recovery or Team Win Recovery Project also can flash OTAs, uh, which I didn't just didn't know. Um, so I'm going to show you guys on my new Nexus 7 right here. I have a system update downloaded. So we're going to touch it, and it tells you what it's going to do: software upgrade your device to Android 4.3, blah blah blah. Well, anyway, I already have Unlock Bootloader, Root Access, and Team Win Recovery Project on this device also. So I'm just going to show you. So restart and install. Now this is where I thought that you had to have, like I said, stock recovery on to take an OTA update. Um, I guess you do not, which is just surprising to me. Maybe it's because I'm used to Motorola devices and they always, you know, you're using some kind of bootstrap or something, so obviously it's not going to work with that recovery. Maybe Team Win Recovery Project's always been able to do OTA updates. I don't know. But uh, I just wanted to show it to you guys in case you were unaware and thinking, oh, wait, I'm customized. I can't take the OTA. Well, if you're on the stock ROM, yes, you can. Um, so I'm going to just show you this right here. It says updating partition details, and then it says processing AOSP recovery commands. So Team Win Recovery Project sees that it's giving it AOSP recovery commands that the OTA is giving it those commands and it says okay that's that's fine we can handle that and we're gonna run the update um, so obviously Team Win Recovery Project has integrated that stuff into it so now you can do OTA updates through this recovery and not have to flash back to you know stock recovery to take your OTA update um, so this update is very small we were on I think like JJ15 something was our build I wish I would have showed you guys that beforehand but um, there you go, it did the update in Team One Recovery Project and it should do your reboot. And I want to just see what the update is, I don't even know what's supposed to be on this thing. I know this one was like the JJ66 something or another, like I just showed you. Uh, might be what this is actually getting to, the new Nexus 7. They, both these updates, OTAs, just came into my devices today. Um, I know there's been links for them online already um, if you go to the Nexus stuff on uh, Google. So let's go ahead and I'm going to let this boot up and just show you guys the build that it updated to and wrap this up. So we are going to head and optimizing applications after that upgrade, um, which is pretty standard for any upgrade. It goes ahead and says it's, you know, Android is upgrading. Um, but that also happens if you like wipe cache or Delvic in recovery, it also does that. And I'm sure that's what the OTA did and that's why it says it's upgrading Android right here. So, very much close to done. Shouldn't take too long, and we'll be wrapping that up too. Okay, here we go. We booted up. And let's go ahead and go into settings, just like we'll do on this one. Do our comparison. And we were on the. What build? What build was that right here? Hang on. We are on the JWR66Y, and this OTA update puts us on the JSS15Q, and that was the OTA that was pushed out today. So, well, at least today to my devices. But there you go, I just want to show you guys that T1 Recovery Project does allow you to do OTA updates through it, which is super nice, and you don't have to flash back to recovery. If you have an unlocked bootloader, all that goodies, you can use it to do your OTA updates. So there you go, just a little bit of information. I was not aware of it, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention to forums and stuff. So there you go, that's it, that's my video. As always guys, check me out right here at rootjunkie.com. 
right there. Facebook and Twitter on the other side. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.